Hey guys, Tim O'Keefe here, Spider Juice Technology, and I wanted to show you how to create content better and on purpose. And a lot of times people don't know what to blog about and they don't know what to post about in microblogs or on Facebook or social media, and I intend on showing you how. <laughs> uh, we talked before about uh, frequently asked questions and how you let your your uh, clients and prospects tell you what to write about because they'll tell you in their words, their keywords, what you should be creating content about through their questions and, and commentary. Uh, the other way that I'm going to show you today is how to precede, uh, that is S-E-E-D, seed or psychologically seed a story as it comes up and to create buzz with that story and to create and to help the story extend past the original uh, place placement and one of the things uh, and one of the reasons I like doing this especially on something as innocuous as what I'm about to show you I don't mind people reverse engineering my personal blog I don't do a whole lot on it and don't uh, uh, do super duper marketing things to it. Uh, this is probably the biggest marketing thing I've ever done, uh, which is to write an article about a football game that I had angst about, get hugged by a girl, uh, my, my coach's daughter, who made me feel better uh, about it, and bring me back to reality that it's just a stupid game. Um, so I wrote an article about it. I woke up, wrote an article, and the night before, this is a father on my team who's very active in social media, or at least on Facebook, and he wrote about his son getting hurt and uh, probably out for the season, uh, horrible, and, and he's a leader on the team. I wake up that morning with the intent to write about this beautiful little girl who gave me a hug, and I get this gift from a mutual friend. Carlton, who's from high school and uh, posted about a mutual friend who was a SWAT officer. I coached with him years ago. Many of my followers know that uh, or have seen me post about Randy. Randy was a living hero. Uh, he was slain about five years ago, unfortunately, and uh, love him to death, a great family, and uh, represented everything uh, to this day that I, I often will use when I coach. Uh, he, he was about the good things, which I'll talk about in a second. So that, like I said, that was a gift to be able to start off with him on the day. And then I knew I was writing about a beautiful girl, so I started going to the Beautiful Girls movie, and it was afterwards I kind of re realized the Beautiful Girls movie is really about guys and beautiful girls and the um, shallowness of it, uh, but yet a beautiful little girl uh, kind of acts as Timothy Hutton's Jiminy Cricket in the movie, and it's uh, it's, pretty, it's a great movie. It's a lot of in, in kind of deep things that go on uh, in, in the male psyche with girls that uh, these guys deal with. Uh, here's our boy who got hurt, um, great leader on the team, so I posted up a, about him. And these are, again, this is just stuff that's natural that are already in the environment that I'm using to seed. And again, what, what do I mean by seed? A seed is I'm, I'm getting it into people's minds that, uh, that this is coming, so that it's top of mind. Uh, it's something that the word beautiful girl is going to come out at you because you, you've been seeing it. And when you only have five minutes um, before a post dies, it, it often helps uh, to do this kind of thing because you're kind of leading to a, a crescendo. And then, like I said, the next day and following days, it kind of tapers off. And so, uh, again, I put the trailer here, a cute little Rosie O'Donnell quote in there and then I go back to football about life skills are more important than just uh, and applicable because few kids will end up going from youth football to play college or in the pros so again back on message what we're really about about the character the, the way I coach the beautiful girl song um, and then quotes beautiful girl is nothing but the promise of a new tomorrow and bottled hope I thought that's hilarious uh, by the shallow Michael Rappaport and then, then I write, I post my article, 
at the end of the night, how beautiful girl humbled me last night, which is sort of provocative um, because I've given you no warning, really, unless you know the beautiful girl movie that I am going to mention um, that really who I'm talking about is a little girl who brought me back to my center and uh, who I am. And so uh, I, later on, uh, and I'll show you now, uh, let me see if I can go up a little. This is, okay, so I keep the girl thing going. Uh, a cake, short, short skirt, uh, long jacket. I want a girl who gets up early. Oh, sorry. Anyway, uh, so I go through that, and then as the next day goes on, I taper her down. So let's see. So I put in a post about coaching uh, and uh, sideline stuff that goes on. Uh, concussion issues, more concussion issues that's big on everybody's minds right now, literally. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, that's one of the things we had happen to one of our kids Saturday. More posts from my blog, some of these good goodies I, po I bring up. I start getting commentary on some of this stuff. Uh, I help out in the commentary by uh, taking a video that Vipin posted here, and I start, uh, I, I take the words from Rocky, the Rocky movie. It's an inspirational uh, clip that Vipin put up, and some quotes from a great pre, uh, I guess it's a pregame or a halftime speech um, that, uh, that was done in any given Sunday, and... And that's what, uh, this is what happens today. Uh, I emailed a, uh, my list about the seating technique, which I posted at, at Socialized SEO, and now I'm going to add with this video. Um, and I talked, because and, and, I doubt that Mike, I haven't asked him, but I doubt that he actually uh, got to my post on football through my social media. I don't think he follows me that closely. Um, but he uh, he did follow the links and uh, and actually I'm quoted as my first quote as a coach hey um, defeat lays before us a gift wrapped life lesson it is my choice to either speak from the gift or from a defense of my own ego uh, I'm just trying to sound like the NFL voice but uh, anyway that uh, is from today's post just three hours ago uh, I think three days later and I've also had email conversations of people emailing me after the uh, letter. So what am I doing right now? Well, okay, I've showed you my technique, but I've also demonstrated to you how to create the content through the technique, but I'm also creating more content explaining it to you. So the story is about the story, is about the story, is about etc. And that, my friends, is how you seed content, you psychologically seed, and how you create content. Enjoy. I hope this helps. If you need help doing this or other great techniques in creating content, by all means, let me know. Tim O'Keefe, Spider Juice Technologies.